The National Instrument 43101 defines the legal standards for the mandatory disclosure of information to the relevant stock exchange regarding mineral projects of companies listed at Canadian stock exchanges. This disclosure regulation applies also to foreign mining entities whose shares are traded on stock exchanges overseen by the Canadian Securities Administrators regardless of whether they are only traded over the counter or as derivatives and other instrumented securities. The regulated disclosures covered by the NI 43101 code include press releases of mineral exploration reports, reporting of resources and reserves, presentations, oral comments, and websites. The NI 43101 covers metalliferous, precious metals, solid energy commodities, bulk minerals, dimension stone, precious stones, and mineral sands commodities. The purpose of the instrument is to ensure that misleading, erroneous or fraudulent information relating to mineral properties is not published and promoted to investors on the stock exchanges. The NI43101 was created after the BRIEX scandal to protect investors from unsubstantiated mineral project disclosures. BRIEX was a Canadian group of companies. Part of the group, BRIEX Minerals Limited, based in Calgary, was involved in a major gold mining scandal when it reported to have found an enormous gold deposit at Busang, Borneo in Indonesia. BRIEX purchased the mining rights for the Busang site in March 1993 and announced in October 1995 that significant amounts of gold had been discovered, sending its stock price soaring. Originally a penny stock, in May 1996, its stock price at the Toronto Stock Exchange reached a split-adjusted peak at over 286 Canadian dollars, with a total market cap of over 6 billion Canadian dollars. BRIEX Minerals collapsed in 1997 after the gold samples were found to be a fraud. The promulgation of a codified reporting format discourages fraud attempts and renders them highly unlikely to be successful and reassures investors that the projects have been assessed in both a scientific and professional manner. However, properly and professionally investigated mineral deposits are not necessarily economically exploitable nor does the presence of an NI43101 certify the quality or safety of an investment.